Macca's Guides. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Maka here. I'm going to be talking about the Halo 5 beta, my personal thoughts and opinions. Now, I did play it in the early access phase, so I've played about 50 games in it, which is more or less a decent amount, considering there are only two maps at the moment. And I will be talking about general ideas about the beta, and I won't be going into very, very specific things. Um, but I do want to talk about some things that I think need changing, some things that are good, and my overall thoughts. Now, just so everyone knows kind of my Halo background, I've played Halo almost my entire life and I play it religiously at moments in my life depending on whether or not I like the current version that is out. And the good thing is that Halo 5 feels like Halo. Halo 4 felt like Halo, but the maps were not right. Halo Reach didn't really feel like Halo to me personally. My personal two favorites are Halo 2 and Halo 3. Um, but Halo 5 feels like Halo and that's pretty important to the community and I know a lot of people are liking it But it also made some interesting changes that I know a lot of uh, people who may not like Halo will like Now I want to talk about some of the good changes and one of those is that I really enjoy that the D scope is back So what the D scope is is if you're scoped in your gun and you get shot it unscopes your gun for you And that is a good thing in my opinion It helps for mid-range BR battles and I, I like the D scope and I'm glad it's made a return there's also been a large increase in the pace of the game as far as the player movement, which I think is a good thing. I didn't think it was something that Halo necessarily needed, but it is a welcome change and it does help uh, the game in certain ways. So I like that the pace has been increased and it's, it still feels like Halo, so that's totally cool. Also, there's some cool new medals like the Reversal Medal and the Perfect Kill Medal. And one of the cool things about the Perfect Kill Medal is if you get a perfect kill and then you look in the bottom left corner of the screen, It'll actually say, player one, four-shotted player two. So that's pretty cool that it even includes the text for people who aren't, like, obviously watching your screen to know that you got a perfect kill. Now, there's some bad things that I don't really like about the game. This list is a little long. Keep in mind, I'm a little bit of a Halo purist. I like my Halo very pure and very arena-based shooter style where everyone's completely even. So that's how I like my Halo. And although this bad list is kind of long, it's not necessarily that bad and detrimental to the game. So one major, major thing is that you cannot move while looking at the scoreboard. They made this change back in Halo, I believe, 4, and then Halo 5 and Halo 2 Anniversary. You can't move while looking at the scoreboard. That's unacceptable for 2014. We were able to do this back in the day in Halo 1 on the PC. We were able to move around while looking at the scoreboard, and we should continue to be able to do so. Now, these two things are a little bit specific, but I do think they uh, hinder the gameplay. Uh, the time to scope after switching weapons is a little long, so if you're, uh, you know, you have a BR out, you switch to a sniper and then you try to scope, that time it takes for you to scope in, it's a little bit too long. Also, the time to switch weapons after mantling is also way too long. So for example, if I am mantling the middle uh, area of the truth map and I want to switch to my uh, background weapon and then pick up the Prophet's Bane, that whole process of me running to mid, mantling, switching weapons, picking up the new weapon, and then leaving that area, that whole process takes way too long for a Halo game. You should be able to switch your weapon immediately after the um, after your gun comes back on screen. So that would be pretty cool. Also, we were told that the aim down sight doesn't actually let you shoot better. But I'm pretty sure that in the fully automatic weapons, there is less spread when you're aiming down sight. Um, so that could be fixed. Uh, the AR is very overpower very powerful in general uh, if you're scoped in. Also, the ranking system, I'm not really sure it even works. Now, I know we haven't been told about it, but my kill death, I'll show you it on screen. Um, that's my kill death, and for some reason, it was putting me in the silver tier. And I was comparing myself against other people who I was playing against who were onyx or higher, and they had significantly worse kill deaths and significantly less uh, win-loss ratios. So I have no idea how that ranking system's calculated, but it seems flawed to me personally, uh, just based on the fact that um, I was playing the games of my life and it ranked me in the silver tier, and usually I'm in the higher range of the Halo games. Also, this game has way too many pity medals. What is a pity medal? It is a medal given to you for getting a kill or for running around and having your teammate kill someone who's kind of looking at you, you get a distraction medal. If you kill someone who's killed you recently, you get like a revenge or avenge medal. All of those stupid pity medals, they're just stupid. I don't like them. There's no reason to be getting 10 kills and then getting 24 medals for them. Um, they should take out the pity medals in my opinion and make a medal actually meaningful and worth something. Now these are the things I'm kind of neutral about. I'll talk about why they're good and why they're bad and then I'll talk about my opinion about them. There is a kill cam. 
Uh, my opinion of the kill cam, I don't really mind it. In Halo, you usually know where you got killed from, and even if it's a sniper, it's totally cool if there's a kill cam. But I know some people don't like it, especially in competitive game types uh, with no radar. It could be a little weird, so I'm sure they'll have an option to turn that off, though. Another thing is the radar distance. Now, the radar is still 30 meters. It's always been 30 meters, but the game has significantly increased in speed. You're able to sprint a lot faster, dash, and do a lot of different things. Um, so people are a lot uh, able to sneak up on you a lot easier with radar on, which I kind of disagree with. In general, I prefer that the radar is completely off, but for those who like the radar on, I feel like the radius of the radar should be a little bit bigger. Also, team killing. There is no team killing. There is no team damage. You can grenade your teammates and shoot them and whatever, and it's impossible to kill them. Now, there's good and bad aspects to this. Um, obviously, you won't get team killed because you picked up a sniper rifle and one of your teammates wants it. But also, if, you know, someone's legitimately just bad and shooting their own teammate, uh, you can't actually do damage and get negative points. So there's no penalty for just being generally bad or putting really bad grenades into an area where your teammates are. So it's unfortunate that if there's like two people in a room, they'll just all grenade themselves and, you know, the, the, the people with the other teammates in there won't die. Also, there's an increased physics from grenade explosions. If you are placed like directly on a grenade that explodes under your feet, you will be sent flying across the room sometimes. And I think the physics is a little bit too much. It kind of feels like the Sputnik skull is on. I would personally prefer if the grenades did a little bit less physics. But again, that's a, this, these, are, these are all neutral points, uh, more talking points and things I wanted to discuss with you guys. Now, I feel like the team, your teammates can get in the way and impede your movement a lot more than before. Um, in previous Halos, your teammates would kind of get in the way if you walked into them, but they wouldn't really be a big deal. You could quickly jump over them. In Halo 5, I feel like if a teammate sprints into you, or they dash into you, or they shoulder charge into you, they significantly move you and render whatever you're doing useless. I've had countless times where I'm trying to shoot across the map and my teammate hits me and it like sends me uh, significantly, you know, a few meters across the room and it completely throws off my aim. Um, so that's a little bit unfortunate. I don't personally like how much my teammates seem to get in the way and how strong their movement was in comparison to mine. So that's, that's that. And then the commentator, as I said in a previous video of mine, I think he's getting way too over the top. That's just a personal opinion. Um, but I prefer when he was just straight up, you know, to the point and decisive. But now he's way over the top. Every game you hear, Slayer. And it's, it's too much for me personally. I prefer my commentator uh, just chilled out. And I don't know what you guys think. I, want to, I do want to know what you guys think in general about the beta. I have decent thoughts. I really am enjoying it. I think it is a good change. I feel like it still feels like Halo, um, but it has made changes so that it doesn't feel like an old Halo that we're just playing over again. Graphics are good. The maps are great. The power weapons are good. Um, I enjoy the movement, the aiming. Everything seems to feel right. And um, obviously there's a lot less auto-aim, which I haven't mentioned, even though it's one of the significant parts of the changes in the game. I do feel like it's a welcome change. The decrease in auto-aim has made it more skill-dependent, which is something I've always wanted in Halo. I always want a chance to be able to fight back against someone who shot me first. And that's why I've always loved Halo above other games, because even if I'm shot first, there is a chance that I can turn around, bank a grenade, and kill that guy before he kills me. Whereas in other games, if you're shot from behind, there's almost zero chance you're able to turn around and do something about it. Um, so there is less auto-aim. That's that's. I think it's good, though, for the franchise. And overall, I really like where Halo 5 is heading, especially considering how Halo 4 did. Uh, I really like that they're going back to the arena style. I like that they got rid of loadouts. I like that they got rid of armor abilities, or at least made every armor ability available to all players at all times. I like that it's 4v4, red versus blue, classic. Um style of gameplay and that's uh overall i'm enjoying it and i think it's going in the right direction so thank you guys for watching let me know what you think about the beta i'm uh more than happy to hear your thoughts thanks for watching and i'll see you next time peace